Now pay attention, Dr. Sir. I've always tried to teach you two things. First, never let them see you bleed. And the second? Always have an escape plan. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Christian Morales, that one blonde guy, and today I wanted to do something a little bit special, something that I've been wanting to do for a minute and having to stay home has kind of made me want to do this even more so. Now that I have the time, I'm very excited to share with you guys my James Bond collection. It's going to be a time capsule. I want this whole video, it's not going to be really a series, it's going to be more of a yearly check-in, if you will, of how my collection grows. And it's a year from now, we're going to come back and do another video of my collection just to see how it's grown. And today is April 6th, 2020. So on April 6th, 2021, or at least around that time, we're going to come back and do another video just like this one. I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how things have changed over the years. Now who knows what life is gonna be like a year from now, so it's gonna be interesting to see. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a lot of fun to show you guys what I have. And that being said, let's go check things out. So starting off, we have, here's my laptop where all the magic happens, editing and then posting and obviously add my own touch to it, the uh, Apple logo, but it is a 007 sticker, which I thought is pretty cool. Okay, Brian, I know <laughs> James Bond aficionado has really been trying to push me to get an Xbox One, but here is my 360 alongside my Bloodstone 007 game, which I have really, really enjoyed playing absolutely love the story and everything about it. it's just so much fun here i mean there's the book that i'm currently reading right now live and let die so kind of a fun story you know i wanted to open up my room a bit so i took out the doors that were originally there area and i think it turned out quite nice i cleaned up the inside of my closet area and obviously on my shoes here you should see some things that look very familiar um here's my crab key Hello, this is kind of like my enjoying death shirt for my enjoying death outfit. Um, moving on here, H&M Spectre turtleneck, really fun shirts from 007.com. Frugal Bond, no time to die, commando sweater. Here are my ties. Um, I think this is pretty neat. I got this guy on Amazon, just a kind of cool way to organize my ties. This is my version of the Tom Ford tie that we see in Skyfall when Bond is in MI6. And then this one you could say this is like the Tom Ford one we see in Quanta. Very versatile when it comes to both of these ties. I really love these two. They're really the only kind of ties that um, have kind of the Bond connection for me. Um, the rest just look really nice with whatever I have on all my suits and shirts that I have. And then of course here are the shirts and then my suits and then tuxes now this i'm particularly proud of up here on this shelf you see quite a few things but it's illuminated in there and that is because i got some christmas lights that are battery powered and just hook them up up there as you can see me turning them on and off they work and they illuminate the shelf area so you guys can see what's up there so let's start up here i have a couple bags from when i went to new york i went to the huntsman sister store which is uh, on several row the original store is on several row and you know as you know i'm a huge kingsman fan as well so i paired the kingsman and the huntsman bags next to each other because the huntsman store was the inspiration for kingsman have the prop replica glasses from Magnolia. There's floors right there. There's the little uh, number 89 test tube that I got. Moving um, over here is the Spyscape. I went to the Spyscape in New York. 
Got a couple cool things there, and they gave me a really cool bag I wanted to display. Here's the Royal Mint coin that I got a few weeks ago. A couple cool things from 007.com. I have the Aston Martin DB5 key ring, and then the bags from the, uh, from the store when I went to Bond in Motion. That was really cool. That's from Spyscape. They gave you a wristband that kind of you wore as, uh, and it kept data as you answered questions and went through different obstacles. And ultimately, you know, if you've ever been there before, it classifies you as a certain spy. So that was pretty neat. I got to keep that. I love how it's cold. Moving on, I have some NPL advertising for the new 007 Cashmere line. This right here is pretty special to me. This is my great grandfather's original fedora. Um, you know, Sean Connery wears fedoras, you know, so you see even George Lazen be wearing a fedora. So I just thought it looked really cool right there for the time being, kind of has that bond connection. There is my original Octopussy laser video disc. Got this for my birthday. I absolutely love the cover art for it. I recommend you guys trying to find one of those. They're so cool. They're like mega sized DVDs. <laughs> the pesky Funko Pops. Yes, I have pretty much all the Bonds. Um, not too sure if I want to get all the extra guys, maybe in the future, but I know I wanted all the Bonds. There's the DB5 with Sean, and then I have Sean up there from Goldfinger. The incredibly incorrect Daniel Craig from Casino Royale. <laughs> Uh, Pierce from GoldenEye, and then Roger Moore from The Spy Who Loved Me. We're panning over here. This is something that's really special to me. This is also my great grandmother's uh, vintage radio. It doesn't work, unfortunately. I am looking forward to restoring it and having it work. But the story on that was they were going to get rid of it. My grandmother, great grandmother, passed away a few years ago, and they were going to get rid of it. But I said, no, I think it looks very bondish, and I want that in my room. So I grabbed that, and I think it looks absolutely killer in my room. I love it. We have on display my N-Peel Cashmere 007 clubs that I absolutely love. A little bit of the fun Heineken branding here from when they released the double O alcohol free Heineken. I'll just have that on display. A little bit of literature here. I have the DK James Bond's Secret World of 007 book. Um, here's my record player that I use. The Spy Who Loved Me vinyl. Moving over here, I have some props and kind of, uh, again, some Bond references here with the Walter patch that was gifted to me by commando.bond at 007. I recently did an interview with him. It's Caleb. Go check it out. Great guy. This is a prop that I got off eBay. Um, it's supposed to be a Walther, although it's it's a it's a fake Walther. It does not. It's not really accurate, but it's fun just for the looks. This is not fake, however. I was gifted these beautiful babies from Mr. Jay Sadowski from James Bond Classified. Uh, these are the accurate. Tom Ford Snowden model glasses that Bond wears in Spectre. I wear these 24-7, even inside, just because I want to look like Bond, and I absolutely love them. So thank you, Jay, again, for that absolutely wonderful gift. Here's the beautiful packaging for NPL that uh, came with my gloves. Now, all the way to the left here, I'm going to my bookshelf. Here's a little bit of the Bond community corner. Um, I have... Mr. Bud West from the Bond Brain. Check him out. Gave me one of these cool casino chips. Then here is Caleb again. Um, Commando Bond sent me this really neat sticker. Uh, these are actual Casino Royale cards that I got for my birthday. Really neat. Here's Ian Fleming's side. I have, you know, a Casino Royale, Moonraker. Uh, again, uh, Live and Let Die. I'm reading over there on my. Uh, TV counter and then back is gold uh, for your eyes only and then behind it is Goldfinger I'm trying to collect all of these guys and then the penguin novels just so I can display them again I'm really looking for a nice bookshelf so I can put right here display all these guys here because obviously as you can tell this is a small shelf we'll probably bust if I continue to stack books on moving on 
Mr. Joseph Darlington's Being James Bond, Volume 1. Still waiting for Volume 2, but Volume 1. <laughs> here we go, right here. And behind it is the Shaken Official Cocktail Book, Drinking with James Bond and Ian Fleming. I have been practicing. Yes, I have. Oh, this guy looks familiar. He looks like someone you guys should recognize. Uh, this is what I received when I went to Bond in Motion. I had the photo op and I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll do it. So really cool little gift that I have for memories there. It's where I store all my watches. I mean, I have my neat displaying case here. I have my Fossil FBO1 blue and black model. I got a Timex and then another Fossil. And then I'm wearing the uh, my Tommy Hilfiger dress watch right now, just just because I felt like something different. Um, there's a moleskin, the moleskin notebook is the one with the titles. Uh, the couple glasses, I mean, some uh, obviously they're not, they're kind of bond related in a way. This this is my pair that I wear that I kind of feel like they're my Craig Casino Royale, you know, when he's landing into the Bahamas. He has those guys on and then in here is pretty interesting. And here I have all my cufflinks. This is really cool. This is the uh, a prop replica of the Kingsman Signet ring. I wear that pretty often. And that's a class ring from high school. Uh, cufflinks, Kingsman cufflinks, um, and then my t one tie bar that I have. Moving down here, all my Bond magazines. Last but not least, my Pride and Joy. I have my poster collection. So here is the world of 007 little poster, if you will, from the no the Moleskine notebook. Um, it's pretty neat. It has all every single movie with the locations on this side. Uh, I have Mr. Connery right here and all of his glory. And then moving on to the posters, I have Dr. No in the actual movie sized uh, version. And then all the rest of these are from uh, the posterdepot.com. That's where I get all these beautiful prints. They always come out very nice. And they are the 11 by 17. They're around $10 each, so not bad. So far, I have the Sean era, George, and then we have obviously the Roger Moore era. And then ending with Tim. I just ordered all the Brosnans, so they're gonna be coming pretty soon. So definitely we'll see the updated version on Instagram. So yeah, so so far this is this is the uh, collection video one. I will see you guys in a year for an updated video, which will definitely be looking different here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanted to showcase everything that I had, just some tiny things that I have that I didn't get to show. Like obviously my car has a bunch of cool James Bond stickers and everything like that. I tricked it out with Bond stuff, but that's outside. And then I also have the Blu-ray, the Bond James Bond collection uh, DVDs. That's, that's my main source of watching all the films and stuff like that. But I will see you guys in a year and we'll see how the collection has changed. So that being said, I'm Christopher Morales, that one Bond guy. And like I always say, let's continue the journey in the next video. Have a great one. Please be safe. Wash your hands and I'll see you guys soon.